Hey folks, it is your friend in flowers, Lisa Mason Ziegler, and I'm coming to you live from in my home office, which I've never done before, so I hope we have enough internet juice to make this come through loud and clear, because I want to talk to you about a really serious subject um, that I think is one of the leading causes that flower farmers, that want to be flower farmers, fail at. And let's just talk about it for um, just a minute. And so whether or not you realize it, if, if I'm talking to you, if you're, this is going to sound familiar, whether or not you realize it, most of us find the most frightening piece of going into business, selling, growing and selling flowers is the selling part. It's the actual part to be able to walk into a business or to stand in a booth and actually ask people to pay you money for what you're offering. Like, you're scared to death it's not good enough. You're scared to death you're charging too much. You're scared to death that they won't last. Friends, I know all that because I totally went through the very same process. This is universal. I still face these troubles, right? So I um, tell the story about how my very first florist call. So when I first started investigating becoming a flower farmer back in 1997 is when investigation started. I actually did it in 98. Um, actually, I guess it was early 1998. I had planted all these flowers. I had sweet peas and sweet William and tons of Rebecca. I had all these flowers blooming out in my garden and in abundance, a, a way over planted. And every day my husband would say, hey, when are you taking your flowers down to that florist? I had already scoped out a customer like I had been told to do. When are you taking your flowers? And I had an excuse for every single day. And then finally, one morning at the breakfast table, Steve said to me, and my man is very wise, y'all. Um, he is an entrepreneur himself. He owns a family business. He looked across the table and said, why aren't you taking your flowers down there? And I didn't really have an answer, but he knew that I was afraid. I was scared. I was going to be embarrassed. I was going to be just crushed because I was going to walk in and they were going to say to me, this is what was playing out in my mind, was... Um, why in the world would we want to buy your old garden flowers? That's literally what I was thinking. So Steve looked at me and said, take your flowers down there and offer them. And if they don't want them, we'll just never shop there again. Y'all, that flipped the switch for me. Because the florist that I was stalking to sell to was in the middle of a big garden center where I used to go as a gardener, go all the time, right? He said, you never have to go back in that place again if it doesn't go well. And me just, him giving me the okay to do that, just really changed everything for me. And so I am here to tell you that most people that start flower farming do this. They think they, they want to grow. They want to garden. They want to start seeds. They want to plant the garden. They want to grow the flowers. And they just think, I'll get to the selling part when and if I actually get some flowers. Friends, that is the beginning of the end. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be afraid to sell. Um, and tonight is my last free live masterclass on selling flowers. I'm going to show you 14, actually 15 different ways that flowers can be sold. And that's not an exclusive list. There are more ways you can actually do it. And it's free and it's tonight at 7 p.m. And you can comment sales 101 here and I'll DM you the actual invitation that you can sign up for. Or you can go to my IG um, profile and it's in there. And you'll get an email and in that email is a worksheet. I recommend that you print that out and bring it to the class tonight and we're going to fill in. You're going to fill in the, all the different market channels. I don't want to call them markets because everybody thinks farmer's market. All the different sales channels. And then the things that pop with you. The, I'm going through the pros and the cons of each one. The assets you may need to actually pursue that. And friends, I just want to tell you when you know how many flowers get sold every day in the United States alone? That's like 10 million stems a day. Friends, I know you can find your piece of that. 
You just have to know where you can actually sell. And then the rest of the story can just start happening for you to get all caught up in planting a bunch of plants and growing a lot of flowers and not know where you're going to sell your flowers is the beginning of the end of your business. I'm telling you, because I talk to those people every day. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be that way. So, Sales 101, meet me tonight in the live masterclass. We're going to go through all 14 of the sales channels. Then, if you show up live, um, we also drop in your, in your inbox um, a PDF of one of the most successful ways that I sold cut flowers for 25 years. And that was through my members only on-farm flower market that can be tweaked to just about every situation you could um, actually present. Because I created that system so that I could sell from my home in the middle of the city and be legal with city ordinances. And I have some of the most stringent ordinances ever where I am. So this is a model um, that can work for most people. And we're going to be sending you two PDFs. One is all of my sales text, the actual wording that I use to sell the memberships to get people in. And friends, once they got in, they never left. Um, and then also the behind the scenes details, all the stuff that my sister and I did about how the market works and how we did things. And so anyway, I'd love to have you there and to be able to go through these channels to provide you with the members only PDFs. Um, and it's just going to change the way that you think about growing flowers. When you know they're sold, friends, I always had more customers waiting for my flowers than I had flowers. And that can present some problems but the problems are far easier to deal with and smaller than staring at buckets of flowers that you have nowhere to sell. And we see people suffering with this all the time. So join me tonight, 7 p.m., comment Sales 101. I'll DM you the invite. It's not on our website anymore. Tonight's the last night, so you can't even go over there and sign up. Um, you have to either go to my DM, I mean, go to my um, profile here in IG or comment sales 101 and then go to your DMs, sign up and that will get you the invite and meet me tonight. Um, I'm sitting here at my desk um, tweaking the webinar, the masterclass um, and because this is the last go round y'all and I just can't tell you how many eyes have been opened um, from people that just had no idea how many flowers sell and all the different ways that you can find to sell them. It's a lot more than just selling to florist and farmer's market, y'all. <laughs> all right, friends. So I hope to meet you tonight. Comment Sales 101. Meet me tonight at the last free live masterclass. And it really is live. I do a live Q&A at the end of the masterclass. Um, so friends, meet me there. See you tonight. Ciao.